Welcome. In this video, I would like to return to my discussion of Evernote. You know from my prior videos that Evernote is my go-to repository in which I can store most of my digital files and have access to them on all of my devices as well as through any internet-connected web browser. In this video, I'd like to show you how to use templates to make your academic life just a little bit more efficient. Let's get started. Here, I'm displaying my Evernote application on my MacBook Pro. This screen could look similar on a Windows machine. It's, the interface is not specific to the Mac operating system. I'm going to create a new note by clicking New and then clicking Note, and I get a blank note in which I could type text. But before I type text, I'm going to click the option here to Open Gallery, and this will show me templates that I've created here on, in my Evernote account. Now, these are each templates that I acquired from Evernote's website, but then I save them into my account so they'll be readily accessible to me, even if I'm working on the computer while it's offline. I'm going to start with the class Notes template. When I click that template, it then creates a note from that template. And this note is, as you can see, untitled. So I'm going to give it a title. Let's say this is a class on, um, oh, I don't know, aeronautics. And I'll copy that information here. It's for the course, arrow one, two, three. Uh, and today's date is, oh no, it's August already. August 4th, 2022. And it's Professor Dr. Smith. Now, here within this template, I can fill in any of these boxes, or I can choose to leave some of them blank. I could even delete them if I don't think I'm going to need them. But let's say I need res uh, one of the resources I need is the paper airplane that I created. And the key points that I acquired from the uh, readings that I did before coming to class were now, if I've got my date incorrect, if the first flight wasn't on December 17th, 1903, please let me know down in the comments. I think that was what I read in my uh, textbook. And then I had another key point, um, Wilbur flew first and then Orville followed in later flights. Um, Lieutenant Self Ridge, wow, I'm not sure of that spelling, Self Ridge or Self Ridge. I can't recall. Um, first um, death at, and I think that was in College Park, Maryland, um, at the airfield, at the Army uh, airfield in College Park, Maryland. And then here are questions, questions that I have about the early aeronautics in the United States is, um, how did the Wright Flyer, oops, how 
How did it turn? I know it used wing warping, but how did that change the aerodynamics of the aircraft to actually allow it to bank and turn? And then maybe I've got some action items that I need to do. I'm not feeling too creative right now. So I'm just going to create some fake items here. And once I've done these items, I can check them off. And then as with the Cornell note-taking system, there's also an option here for my summary notes. This note is now saved as part of my Evernote database, and it will be available on any of the devices um, that are connected to my Evernote account. I'm going to show you again how I created a new note using a template. So I click New, Note, and I'm given a blank note. Click Open Gallery, and then click the template I would like to use to create my new note. And this is a dormitory checklist, which might be useful for you. If I click another new note, open the gallery, here is um, the Eisenhower matrix. You might recognize this um, from one of my prior videos in which I was addressing scheduling and self-management and time management. And I'm going to use the monthly calendar for 2022. So here, I know that my semester is going to start here at the end of the month on Monday the 22nd, and I will put in 9 a.m. Uh, I have to attend English class at 11 a.m. I have history class at 1 p.m. I've got, oh, I don't know. Let's say art class. So here I've got a digital calendar that is saved within my Evernote account. Now, you know from my prior videos, not only am I passionate about the use of Evernote, but I am passionate about the creation of digital calendars. Now, I prefer to use the calendars that are built into my iPhone, iPad, and Mac computers because they synchronize automatically and they've got reminders and I can set a reminder 10 minutes before an appointment and uh, five minutes before an appointment or one day before an appointment and one hour. I've got lots of flexibility in setting of my alarms. Plus, I can share those appointments with um, other people. So I use the calendaring system that's built into the Apple ecosystem. But if you don't use that calendaring system, this is a perfectly fine alternative and because it's digital and it's stored in Evernote, you will have access to this calendar on any of the devices on which you've installed and configured Evernote. Now, the templates that I demonstrated to you are installed on my computer system. They're installed within my Evernote account, but I acquired them from the Evernote website. Let me show you how I did that. If I create a new note, open the gallery, here are the templates that are in my Evernote account and can be used to create new notes. Here are templates that are still on Evernote's system, not yet in my database. So, for example, if I pick this one, Daily Reflection, it gives me options to fill in text in response to these uh, 
reflection questions. And if I want, before I fill anything in, if I click the three dots up here, the ellipsis in the upper right corner for more actions, I can save this note as a template and give it a name. And then whenever I create a new note in the gallery, when I go to my templates, here's the template stored now within my Evernote account. So any modifications that I make to the template, if I then save the modified note or the unmodified note as a template, it's saving the template into my Evernote account making it immediately accessible on all the devices on which I've configured Evernote. Let me give you uh, an example of some of the other templates that Evernote has already made available to um, subscribers. Project Tracker, Hiring Tracker, Ooh, which might become useful if uh, when as you're um, graduated and if you have a position where you need to hire subordinate employees, this might be a useful template for you. Areas of responsibility. Oh, this one interview scorecard goes along with the hiring tracker, but the interview scorecard could be important to you even as a student because you may have to interview other students for committees that you chair. Daily focus and energy tracker. Here's the dorm checklist that I already saved to my account. Story dashboard. If you're um, working in film or video, um, you might find that useful. Event budgeting, maybe your uh, fraternal organization has social events and you have to budget for those events. There's all sorts of templates here. And by searching the internet, you can find other templates that Evernote users have created. The caution I have with searching the internet for more templates, though, is be aware of the possibility of acquiring um, malicious software known as malware uh, into your computer. So be judicious in the sources from which you accept templates to install on your own computer. I hope this introduction to the use of templates within Evernote might give you some ideas on how you could improve your own efficiency through the use of Evernote. Until we meet again in a future video, I wish you the absolute best in all of your academic work and especially in your use of Evernote. Bye for now. Mika, what a good stretch. You are a nice dog. Oh, what a beautiful necklace you have. So pretty. Yeah, you're a great dog. Yes. Oh, good shake, good shake. Yeah, but you still have a lot of your fur coming off. It's that time of year. What a beautiful dog you are. I love you.